I got some backlash. You're a you're a you're this, you're that. Did this actually happen to her? That said that if that Hunter Biden laptop story had any arguments against that person. And I want to see how it goes. was determined to make that red carpet great again at the 59th Grammy Awards on Sunday night. Joy Vila's Trump-inspired gown quickly sparked conversation on Twitter and album sales online sales have soared. Fox News reporting that her I Make the Static album climbed to number three on Amazon's Movers and Shakers album list. Sing She's a nice looking woman, I'll tell you that much. She also streams. She's a nice looking woman. I've never heard of her before. Joy Vila. Joy Vila. Joy Vila joins me right now. Uh, to talk more about it. Joy, great to have you on the program. Welcome. Hi, good morning. So what, great to be here. Tell us about your decision to wear that Make America Great Again dress. And, and, and in, the, in the back, mm -hmm. it said Trump. It was a beautiful dress, but uh, obviously it made a big statement. Yeah. Yo, she is gorgeous, actually. She's <laughs> a very beautiful woman. I don't know how in the world I haven't heard of her. Right? <laughs> It did. Well, you know, for me, I voted for Trump and a lot of my friends did as well. And we felt like we had to be closeted. We had to be quiet about it or we would face a backlash and bullying. And I just got tired of the narrative of, you know, you're racist, you're a bitch. You're this, you're that, people losing jobs, all because they voted for our now elected president. And for me, it's more of a platform for love and acceptance and unity for America. So this dress, I was hoping to just make a statement, some small little statement about unity, togetherness, and supporting our president as one unified country. Well, you made a statement about sexy. That's what you did, because <laughs> you are lovely. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, though. I, I love the fact that she's taking a stance against people who are just so hung up on their own um, divisive rhetoric, like my guy X Toe in it that's inside of our chat right now, who refuses. He, he don't have the balls to come up here like Joey and talk to me, but he's inside the chat telling her. Well, that's because, that's because, you know, I like personal opinion from other people, either have a conversation or even a debate. You know, but some people are shy away from conversation and debate when they know that they're wrong. Good for you. So I, I understand that you walked in with a robe on, right? And then you took the robe off to show the dress. That's right. So people did. didn't know what you were wearing initially. When they finally figured out what you were doing, did you did you get backlash from people? Were they mad? Well, you know, there was. There's always going to be backlash whenever you make a bold statement. Whenever you be yourself. And for me, as an artist, you know, I, I want to use my platform to really reach people on the level that I feel um, is real. And I knew there would be backlash. But the surprising thing is, I received so much more of an outpouring of love and support than I ever thought I would receive. In fact. My email is flooded. My publicist's email is flooded with, I support you. I appreciate that. I don't agree with Trump, but I, I agree with you being bold and making a statement. Thanks for being yourself. So the overwhelming response has been positive. That's what's up. You know, that actually happened to me on this channel, Joey, where when I very first started to get into conservative politics and starting to understand it more, I got some backlash from people who supported the channel before, something like X Tone It, people who not want me to do this to even give a platform for this conservative space but for the most part it was an outpouring of support of individuals yeah. who was like yes thank you for just opening your mind and just learning about it oh yeah and that's why i have big respect for you okay because you actually uh allow i'll say both sides to talk to you and you don't leave it like some where it's just i only want to hear from this side <laughs> Well, you know what's funny, Joey? Here's the thing, bro. I don't want to hear from people only who agree with me. I want to hear from people who don't agree with me more than anything because I want to understand their passion for the guy that's trolling my chat right now because they have something to say behind the keyboard, but they refuse to show their face and they are Antifa behind the keyboard. They are thumb thumb oh, yeah. is what they and are. I, and the way I look at it is you're against something, okay? And you're on somebody's channel, like if I was against, if I was pretty much that guy, uh, I would actually come on and try to prove my point. Exactly. Even if it turns into a debate, you know?
Exactly. Here's the thing. I would not debate this person. I honestly, I'm an objective listener. If you can tell me why your point of view is what it is, I will listen. I will listen. I can give a damn about there being a gotcha moment. I can care less about yeah. having a video where I say van destroys guests. I don't care about any of that. It does not help. It don't, I want to hear why this individual is so butthurt about Trump. Did Trump impregnate your mom and not take care of you as a kid and never claimed you? Maybe is that the reason why you're so butthurt? Are you one of his children out of wedlock and you're just upset that you didn't get any of the millions that his other children got? Are you just mad that you're the short kid that he had and he has a six foot, um, six foot seven son and you just happen to grow to be five foot one? You're upset about that? What's the problem? Uh, some people you know they sit there and they think they have truth but they're not really sure okay so they're kind of scared to come on and say anything of course they are they're not <laughs> bold like you joey and that i really really am grateful for but what about what about other stars at the grammy awards uh w were they upset because you know a lot of people were expecting they would get real political yeah. against donald trump right well, you know, I figured that would happen. How can you get upset at her? I mean, she's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that gorgeous people should not have enemies, but come on, bro. Like, it's, she's expressing herself and her support for possibly the best president that we've ever had in this country. Um, unfortunately, and I didn't get a lot of backlash in person. What I got was mostly people taking selfies with me and telling me, yeah, I support it. And they're like, I voted for him too. You know, sort of that sort of like, yes, finally, somebody's saying that. Um, one guy did t say, I wish I could step on it, but he whispered that under his breath. I wish I could step on it. Huh. I thought, well, it is a free country. Wow. <laughs> Well, the reason why we checked this joint out, because obviously this young lady was ostracized by her own colleagues and other singers and actors because of who she decided to publicly show some support for. But yeah. as you can see, there's a bunch of people who are closeted, like, oh, I can't believe you voted for him. And then they whisper in her ear, I voted for him too. Keep on going. Keep up the fight, sister. You're braver than me because I would never do that. Because they know how the music industry is going to act towards them. What's it going to do to them? What's the music industry going to do to them? Well, uh, after the whole situation of that, the music industry kicked her. Oh, so they were showing her all this love and taking selfies with her and everything. But guess what happens in the back door? They were like, we got to do something about this. We cannot support this person who support that person. So we got to shut down her sales. We got to shut down her merch. We got to ruin her career because yeah. obviously she's not on the same track as us. Did this actually happen to her? Yeah. Wow. And she actually, she ended up starting to do music, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. on her own and pretty much paying for all of it to do on her own. Uh, wow. One video, okay, the first thing I sent you, I said it was a music video. Uh -huh. It was actually the music video that she made that actually supports Trump. And the music video is actually called Make America Great Again. Come on, and you it, know is, it is a very positive video. I mean... Unless you're not a fan of Trump, then it's not a very positive video. Anything. Well, yeah, it, you know, if you're not a fan of Trump, it's not a positive video. It's a negative yeah. video. Like but, I mean, she sh she shows the point during there. OK, saying that people whispered in her ear, I voted for him, but I don't want to say it out loud. Right. Because we know what's going to happen. Well, all I want to say is thank you for helping me um, understand who this young lady is. Thank you for introducing us. I mean, this I'm going to go back and uh, I'll probably even follow her on IG and see if I can introduce an interview her myself, because okay. uh, you know what? Yes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to reach out to her. If anybody know her, please send her my way well, um, so that we can he, talk. 